Hey, I'm Nicole Northgarden, and on my channel, I take you to Goodwill and thrift stores and sometimes the Goodwill outlet bins, and I show you what I bring home. So today we're heading into Goodwill in Maple Grove, Minnesota. I hope you'll come along with me. Let's see what we can find. Here we go. I've been into blue and white ceramics and dishes for the last few years, so this is really pretty. But $6.99 is kind of high for me. So this is a cutie though. I think I, I can't remember the name that this pattern is supposed to be, but look, it looks all shmeary. Not a good specimen. I'm gonna leave that behind. This has to be Pioneer Woman, yep. And it's also $6.99, but it's missing its lid. I'm pretty sure that's a canister. Yeah, look at those up there. That's a canister with a lid. I think the one on the left is also a canister. Hmm. So they want you to pay $21 for a set of canisters where most of them don't have lids. Okay. Okay, I take that back. They actually want you to pay $23 for a set of canister where two are missing their lids. This is pretty. $12.99. What is wrong with them? Oh my gosh. It is pretty though. But I will not be paying $12.99 for that. No thanks, Goodwill. You can keep it. Guys, I hate Goodwill. The only reason I come here is because YouTube only promotes my Goodwill videos. Isn't that funny? Sad. And you know, I love making YouTube videos, but I like to also get paid for it. So I drop in a Goodwill every now and again to keep my videos at least some of my videos getting suggested. Mostly they do not suggest my videos anymore. Thank you, YouTube. Everything is $6.99 here. I'm at Goodwill in Maple Grove and I don't think I'll be coming back. This is ridiculous. Okay, there's some $2.99 items. But for the most part, I'm seeing a lot of $6.99 on the things that I would buy. Look, someone had this at their yard sale for four. Let's see what Goodwill do with it. Oh, $4.99. Pretty. Someone made that. Kind of cool. It's a little dusty. I like that these are holiday plates, but they're blue and white. $14.99. That's actually not terrible for as many dishes as there are. Not terrible. You know I have a thing for bunnies. These are super cute. I love this. This is a bank. So cute. $4.99 is not terrible, but I don't really need it for anything. And I have a little resale booth where I resell some of the things I find while out thrifting. And 
well, holiday stuff doesn't really sell for me. And I think that would kind of be like Easter and I'm not sure that anyone would buy it. So that's staying behind. Why is that $12.99? I don't understand. What does this one have $12.99 do? $3.99, that's better. That's pretty. <laughs> $15. I need to go. I need to leave. This is ridiculous. What am I doing here? I had no idea their prices were so wild up here. I'm only up here because I'm having dinner with a friend and this was nearby. That's pretty, but this is ridiculous. These, this is like the worst prices I've seen at Goodwill maybe. I love this cowboy lamp. It's not vintage. It's a reproduction. So cute. If I had a little boy's room, I would definitely put that in there.
Okay, happy August. I hope it was fun coming with me to Goodwill. And like I said in the video, I don't love Goodwill, but YouTube loves Goodwill. <laughs> And so uh, I got to keep doing some Goodwill videos uh, at least once a week in order to keep the algorithm happy or uh, my videos don't go anywhere. It's very strange. I mean, if you look at my views recently, they're way, way down. And yeah, there's a whole bunch behind that. But at least if I do a Goodwill video once a week, then it's a little bit helpful. So I didn't really buy anything at Goodwill. I was willing, but the prices were so high. $6.99 is way too much if you ask my opinion. Not that you asked my opinion, but you're here on my channel, so I'm going to give it. <laughs> and But I did find two things that actually... Sorry, I feel like I have a hair. I found two things that actually weren't in the footage, but that I did get at Goodwill. And it's these two vintage notebooks. And I got them because this totally reminds me of something I would have had in middle school. I'm pretty sure I had. Do you remember multiples? It was a clothing line. Is anyone from the East Coast that might have worn multiples? And they were like clothing and you'd wear like a blue top with like a pink skirt. And then it was a scrunchy belt that was like orange or something. That's what this totally reminded me of. So I got that. But mostly because for junk journaling, I like old paper. And this is starting to yellow because the notebooks that were around when I was in middle school are now vintage apparently. So I got that for junk journaling and the same thing for this one. Um, this one actually has some calendars in it, which I will probably also use in my junk journal. And this one is from, it has the years 86, 87, 88. So sometime in there, I was definitely in middle school and it was a two subject, but it's now only a one subject, but I really like the paper. It's also yellowing, but you can hear the there's something about the sound of certain papers. If you're into ephemera, you know what I'm talking about. And this has a very nice sound and it's thin paper, which I actually also like because then it doesn't make your junk journal fat. Okay, so those are my purchases from Goodwill. They were $1.99 each. It's fine. That's what I pay for a notebook anyway. So I thought that was good. And then, um, okay, so now I'm going to show you. I also went to the bins on the same day. Maybe that, maybe that makes my attitude towards Goodwill even worse because I went to the bins first and then to Goodwill. But I mean, it's just, <laughs> when I know what the stuff, what I can get the stuff at the bins for, and then I see it at Goodwill for way more, I'm like, Wah. it'll, something like this will wind up at the bins at some point. And I'll just pick it up there. So went to the bins. They are, they have gotten a lot more expensive. And I think books used to be 19, I know they were 19 cents an inch, like they measure, how many inches of books you get now they're 50 cents an inch and when i started going to the bins it was a dollar 19 a pound it's now 249 a pound at our bins ridiculous but anyway um i still made out i got some good stuff and i'm really happy with the things i got so i got this for next year for my patriotic display um it is a pictorial hit history of american presidents and i got it for the cover really i mean i don't really care what's inside you know, um, history books are questionable. <laughs> it's all about who wrote it, their perspective. We always have to remember that, right? But I do like the red, white, and blue, and I like the presidential seal. I think that will be cool. Sorry, if you hear sounds, the family's here. Molly is there talking to Chris. So anyway, okay. So that's what I got that for. So that will go into my patriotic bin. I have one bin of stuff. Um, everyone's always asking like, how do you store your decor? I don't have that much. It seems like a lot because I show it to you when it's displayed by itself, but it's really not a lot. And so I have one bin of patriotic that's in my garage and that will go in there to be stored for next year. I think someone's knocking. Are you knocking? No, she's going to her room. Oh, I think Sherman wants to come out. I'm going to let him out. Chaos, nice kind of chaos, but chaos. Okay, then this is maybe one of my favorite finds from the day. So you know I found the Betty Crocker cookbook at the estate sale like a few weeks ago. Well, I thought this was so cute to kind of go with my collection. Uh, it's the Betty Crocker New Boys and Girls Cookbook, and I've never seen this one. Like, it's so cute. Look at that. Adorable. So that will go into my cookbook collection, which is confined to two little shelves in my dining room. So um that's what that's for i make that face because you should see the comments i get on here wow 
It's a wonder anyone keeps doing YouTube, honestly, because some people are just so rude. But anyway, <laughs> but most of you are great. Um, okay, and then the other thing I got was this Minnesota Heritage Cookbook, which I love. Sorry, the camera turned off. If the lighting looks different or whatever, something happened. Don't worry about it. We're good now. Uh, Maddie tried to call me, and apparently if I don't have my phone on sleep mode, then it the call comes through and shuts the camera off, and I didn't notice. Anyway, okay. So I also got this book. And it's called Minnesota Heritage Cookbook, which I totally love. First of all, I love the paper. Good job. Um, this was made for the benefit of the American Han uh, Cancer Society in the Minnesota division. And it says hand-me-down recipes. And I just love like the choices they made in publishing. I think the paper is gorgeous. I love the cover. I love that it looks quilted. I think that's really cute. And it's just nice to have, you know, local recipes. I'm sure there'll be lots of nice Scandinavian recipes in there. I like to get recipes from the area because, you know, I'm not originally from here. So I don't know all the things they cook. Well, now I know a lot more than I did 15 years ago when we moved here. 16 almost. Oh my gosh, it was almost 16 years once at the end of the month. Is that right? Yeah, 16 years it's going to be. Anyway, um, I also have all my like Lutheran church lady cookbooks, which also have like local cookbooks. So those are good to have too, but I like having that book. I also got this. It's a pot holder, a hot pad. Um, there's some debate about the term. <laughs> Whatever you like to call it, I got one. And it just hangs in the kitchen. I think these are cute and it's clearly vintage. Um, yeah, I like it. I like it. I got it because I like it. Oh, I wanted to show you this. I got this. So I got it to keep in my grandma bin, you know, if I ever have grandchildren. Um, but I got it because it really reminds me of something my brother and I had when we were kids. And so ours, well, let me tell you, my parents used to have a Dodge station wagon. It was avocado green and my brother and I would ride in the back you know because before seatbelts were a thing I mean I'm sure there were seatbelts in it but we didn't wear them and we'd ride in the back and each of us had a cubby over the wheel well and in that cubby was a bingo board and so ours didn't have a spinner like this one has but um you would like uh, watch like the on if you're on a road trip you'd watch for a cow or a billboard or a farmer or whatever and you'd that's how you would get your bingo the dogs are playing. That's how you would get your bingo. So this just really reminded me of that. I got it for my grandma bin. Oh, and also while I'm looking down, I got a bunch of Beanie Babies. I have a resale booth in a shop called The Pink Elephant in Hopkins, Minnesota. I probably mentioned that in the footage. And so I did get some Beanie Babies to sell there. I Most Beanie Babies are not worth anything. So provided they're not worth anything, which they probably are not, uh, I sell them for $5 a piece. And I just, I always keep a bunch of like kid related things in my booth because sometimes, you know, grandmas come in with their grandchildren or parents come in with their kids and the kids are bored and it just gives them something to look at, something inexpensive they could possibly get. So I got a bunch of Beanie Babies for that. I only pick up the ones with the tags. Those are the ones that people seem to want. So there you go. That's what those are for. And I got a bunch of them. Okay, and then I also got for junk journaling these. It's just some bridge pads. Oh, and I am going to make a junk journaling video. I am going to do it and probably put it on my lifestyle, my home and garden channel, because that's my channel where the algorithm doesn't matter. I just do whatever I want on there and I don't really care. Um, so that's where I will probably put that video and I'll let you know if I if when I do it. I'm not saying if, because I've actually been filming it. So when I actually edit it and put it up, then I'll tell you, but it's coming, it's coming because a lot of people have been asking. Um, okay, and then I also picked this up. I don't even know what I'm going to do with it. I loved the colors in it. Now, if you saw on my home and garden channel recently, I went to Michael's and just showed you all the fall decor and a lot of it was like oranges, you know, regular fall colors, but then with some blue mixed in, which I've been doing for years. I've always put like denim in with my uh, fall decor, which I really like. Uh, except for the year when I did gray pumpkins. I don't know. That was a thing. Remember that was a thing? <laughs> but anyway, so there's lots of blue in the decor this year. And I'm like, oh, cool. And this is kind of those colors. So even if I don't make anything with it, if I just set it in a bowl somewhere or something, it's just really pretty. You can do that. You can do that sort of thing. So that's what that's for. Okay. Oh. And then now this I'm going to keep for a little while. This is worth money. Not, not 
crazy amounts of money, but I could definitely get a, a decent price for this at the Pink Elephant. But I have, someone is selling a bunch of this stuff at the Pink Elephant and I've had my eye on it. I would not pay the prices they're asking, but I just think it's really cute. So I'm really happy to find a piece of my own. Now, I don't know if this is Swedish or Norwegian. I'm guessing it's one of those. Maybe one of you can write in the comments what language that is. Can you see that? Um, so, but I just love the color. So I have on my stove already a tea kettle that I actually use because I know you can microwave your water two minutes, 30 seconds, you've got your tea water, you're golden. And that's great if you're in a hurry, but sometimes I like to just slow down and boil the water. You know, it's like a whole process of like filling the tea kettle, waiting for the water to boil. You know, it just like slows down life a little, which I think is good. So anyway, I have one on my stove that's blue and white and I'm going to keep that one because I love it. But this goes really well with my kitchen for the summer, which if you saw my home tour, I did like yellows, blues, reds, and greens in my kitchen, just like all the primaries, you know? So this red is a little more orangey than mine, but um, I think this will look really cute sitting on my stove for the summertime at least. And then I'll decide what I want to do with it. But I think it's really cute. All right, then I also picked this up. This is for the pink elephant. I've sold these before. This one says it plays blue Danube, 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 Danube. I don't know how you say that word, but it's just a little Hummel box, um, you know. Oops, I don't wanna play it, but anyway, it does work. You can hear it and I think it's really cute. So that will go to the pink elephant. And then I also picked this up. Now this was kind of heavy, but they gave me a little deal on it because it's pretty heavy. Um, yeah, but it's not vintage or anything, but I am going to put this at the pink elephant as well. Um, yeah, so I just think it's cute and this kind of stuff sells for me and I don't need it for my vintage toy collection because I try to keep to like actually vintage toys in my collection. So then I got this, this is so weird. It's so weird. Um, okay. <laughs> it's a doll. It's a terrifying clown doll. Last week I showed you a terrifying ri Red Riding Hood doll. Well, this is a terrifying clown. <laughs> and it's so weird, but I thought, my th here's my thought, it's very lightweight. And I think I'm going to put it at the Pink Elephant. And if nobody buys it, I'm going to use the pinwheels for crafting. Cause there's so many of them and they're, they're cute and they're all handmade. So I could definitely use the pinwheels in crafting. And that's originally when I saw it, I was like, ooh, pinwheels. And then I saw that it's a doll. And I was like, well, I hate to take apart someone's handiwork. So I'm gonna see if someone will buy it. And if not, I'm going to keep it for the pinwheels for myself. So, okay. Oh, one more thing, let me grab it. I got this and this they also gave me a deal on. And it's really pretty, it's a hook hook rug, I think, or something. I am going to put this at the Pink Elephant, and this alone will probably pay for my trip to the Goodwill bins, to the Goodwill bins. So anyway. All right, so that's all that I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I picked up at the Goodwill outlet bins, and I hope you're having a good week. Um, happy August, like I said, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Mm -hmm.